Welcome back to Rambler Sports Soccer. I'm RSL reporter Gabby Luma. In day three of our coverage of Arch Madness, we kicked off the day at Loyalist Fan Pep Rally to send the team off before they faced number one seeded University of Northern Iowa. The pep rally took place at the Lowe's Hotel just a few minutes away from the Enterprise Center. Fans, alumni, and spirit teams joined on the hotel's outdoor terrace to send the team off. Loyola fan Carter Wells has been to both pep rallies over the weekend and said his favorite part is seeing the players come out, especially his favorite player, Braden Norris. It was like fun a lot and like Loyola moves a lot and like so while well, I'm a huge fan of Loyola. Loyola senior cheerleaders Katie Sullivan and Annette Beller both said the pep rallies are not only for the team, but to get the fans excited as well. It's really important to get our Rambler fans really hyped up so they're not shy to make noise in the arena. These pep rallies are super important because they get our fans super hyped for the game to cheer loud for 40 minutes. Others who attended the rally included Loyola alumni who traveled to the tournament each year to watch the Ramblers. Loyola class of 1978 alum Glenn Santella said the weekend has been great for him and his friends and the pep rally really adds another fun aspect to the events. Well, I think it, it, it serves two purposes. One, it gets the uh, it gets the team fired up and lets them know that there's support. There's a lot of support for them, and it also gets the fans fired up. So, because they the, the team needs us to be loud at the game, and I think this is a good uh, introduction to the to the game and to get the people in that frame of mind. Following the pep rally, fans headed to the Enterprise Center to cheer on Loyola in their third matchup of the year against the University of Northern Iowa.